Right. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Janati Stolyarov II. I am the chairman of the United States Transhumanist Party and the chief executive of the Nevada Transhumanist Party. And with me today, I have the great honor to interview President Kevin Baugh of the Republic of Malaysia on the occasion of Founders Day, the 40 year anniversary since the formation of Malaysia. And my first question for you, President Baugh, is what does it take to run a micronation for 40 years and make it work and make it grow and make it politically stable? It takes a lot of um, creativity, imagination, uh, to use a phrase, stick to itiveness, if you will. You have to be able to, willing to, to really stick with it. And uh, uh, that's probably one of the most important things. And also, it's important to keep it active, to do things with it. Uh, some folks might start a micronation, okay, they got a flag maybe some money or something, now what do we do? And so you've got to put a lot of yourself into it uh, to um, to keep it going, if you will, and uh, keep it keep it active, keep it real. Um, so there you go. Absolutely. And what do you think micronationalism can teach the rest of us who are citizens of large established political jurisdictions, especially when it comes to overcoming some of the barriers that exist in contemporary societies? Um, well, the first thing that, that comes to mind is uh, really what makes a nation. You know, and that's really the question that, that all micronations address on some level or another. You know, what, what defines a nation? We, we define in a variety of different ways, and um, you know, we, we define our own special way here in Malasia. So I, I think if you ask that question, uh, even on, on the level of, of like educational government, in schools and so forth like that, and like, what defines a nation? Is it a, is it a people? Is it a culture? Uh, is it borders, a piece of land? Uh, case in point, uh, what happens uh, for some of the nations in the Pacific that are slowly but surely being inundated by the uh, by the ocean? Are they still going to have a nation when they no longer have territory? Uh, you know, so these are, these are things to kind of think about, but I think really just what defines a nation? And then where you go with that in your mind as you think about what, what now, as you know, the Transhumanist Party is a minor political party in the United States that seeks to promote the advancement of science and technology to improve the human condition. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what your thoughts are on the effect that the advancement of technology would have on the ability for people to form micronations, experiment with different types of micronations, and use them perhaps to transform the world for the better. Well, I mean, micronations that, that exist today are what they are and where they are because of technology. Uh, prior to the example, prior to the internet, um, people would probably come up with ideas about their own country, as I did, never knowing that there were other people out there that were doing the exact same thing. And so once we were able to connect through the internet and now, you know, through things like, you know, within the internet like Facebook and, and so forth like that, uh, it, it's made it's, it's made micronations more real, uh, more more something, as opposed to just ideas that, that individuals might have scattered all over the globe. And we've become connected, too. Uh, for example, here at our 40th anniversary, we've got Grand Duke Travis of West Arctica, another micronation. Um, I would have never met Grand Duke Travis. He, he lived at the time I first met him in Virginia. And Malasia is all the way out here in Nevada. If this was just on paper, you know, so it, it helps connect people. Uh, and I think it also uh, Micronationalists tend to be a little more uh, liberal in their thinking, and so that, I think, means more open minds. I think you have to have an open mind to uh, be a micronationalist. Uh, if you are stuck in this, this is what a country thing is, you know, it's just this box and can't be anything else, uh, you're never going to get anywhere with your, with your micronation. Probably never going to approach it. Uh, you know, folks that have those, that are in that, that mode, simply tune out micronations. Those are going to be the same folks that probably tune out a lot of things like technology and uh, science. You know, it's not something they want to focus on. Uh, so, I mean, rambling thoughts, but that's kind of what I was kind of trying to make the point sort of. Yes, that, that's a great answer, and we in the Transhumanist Party certainly wholly agree with you that technology helps bring people together, and micronationalism also helps bring people together, which is why you have our enthusiastic support and our official recognition. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It's quite awesome. Thank you. Thank you, and it's been a pleasure to speak with you today. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you.